What's going on guys? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightyear and I'm back with yet another weapon review from Ubisoft's fastest selling title of all time, The Division. Today is review number 80 and will feature the 229 gear score unique Hungry Hog light machine gun. Since the Hungry Hog is built on the M60, here are some basic stats and in-game weapon info for you on the M60. The country of origin is the United States of America. The rate of fire is 500 rounds per minute. The magazine size is 100 rounds of belt-fed ammo. The fire type is full auto only, and the reload speed is somewhere in the 4.8 second range. The M60, nicknamed the Pig, started design in the late 1940s and was partly derived from German guns of World War II, most notably the FG-42 and MG-42. The initial designs were aimed at replacing the aging M1918 Browning automatic rifle. Chambered in the hard-hitting 762 by 51 mm rounds, the U.S. Army adopted the M60 and it entered service in 1957. The weapon operates as a gas-operated, air-cooled, belt-fed automatic machine gun that fires from the open bolt position and is fed from a 100-round bandolier containing a disintegrating metallic split-link belt. The Hungry Hog is more than likely built on the original M60 chassis, as the bipod mounting points are still fixed at the end of the barrel unlike updated variants. In addition, the Hungry Hog is uniquely colored with distinctive gold and chrome accents along with an American flag engraved on the side of the weapon. Without a doubt, my most viewed Division videos are my weapon reviews and I couldn't believe how many questions I received from viewers about my Alpha Hog build guide video as to the details of my hog. Since my hog was looted in update 1.4, it now comes with random talents and mine came equipped with predatory, stable, and destructive. After mods, my hog has a damage figure of 16.8k, a slightly elevated RPM of 527, and I have raised the starting magazine up to 205 rounds. I looted my hog in DZ6, but since update 1.4, it has a chance to drop in incursions, daily missions, underground missions, in the DZ, and from named bosses both in the open world and DZ. I have reviewed every M60 variant up to this point, and I have to say that without a doubt, the Hungry Hog is by far the best LMG I have used to date. It features by far the best burst and sustained damage of any LMG, and once you get used to the initial recoil, the overall recoil pattern is predictable and easy to control. Since I primarily use my hog in my Alpha Bridge Guide, my second LMG brings the necessary damage talents such as Brutal, Prepared, and Deadly, but I have found that even when using the hog with just its three talents, it is still a beastly weapon to take into battle. What makes it so impressive is its high base damage stats and the ability to keep sustained fire on targets with tremendous effect. My suggested mods would center on stability and ammunition. Even though the hog is fairly easy to aim and fire, any little bit you can add to stability will help you to truly tame this weapon and keep rounds on target. Since the hog is a belt fed LMG, a high percentage magazine mod is a must and if it comes with enhanced reload speed, consider it a blessing. In addition, do not forget to equip the talent One Is None to further stretch your ammo counts by landing headshots. I'm going to rate the 229 gear score unique Hungry Hog light machine gun a perfect 5 out of 5 stars. Currently in update 1.4, this is in my opinion the best all around weapon in the game and it is equally adept at both PvE and PvP. Don't underestimate its low fire rate and lower DPS numbers than other weapons as it will absolutely shred elite NPCs with its punishing damage figures and massive ammo counts. My only knock against the hog is the painfully long reload times, but this is so minor in comparison to all of its strengths that I would not let something this minor keep you from equipping this weapon. For those of you agents that are lucky enough to have this weapon, get your time in with it now, as the Hungry Hog is slated to receive a 13% base damage reduction once update 1.5 drops. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my weapon reviews in your life, follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. I will also leave a link in the description below to my entire The Division weapon review playlist. And remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until my next The Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.